Hey guys, this is BetaBlader95 here, <clears throat> and today I will be doing a special review, as it is spring break somewhere in the world. I know the U.S. right now is in spring break, full-fledged. Uh, I live in Florida, so trust me, when I say it is spring break, it is spring break. So, in celebration for you guys, I am going to be reviewing Evil Levith, which I will be referring to as Evil Leviathan throughout this review, and its signature crash weapon. Panzerfaust. Starting off with Panzerfaust, well, needless to say, this is one of the more controversial crash weapons. This is basically a rocket propelled grenade, and well, you combine this with toys that look like guns, and I don't think it takes very long to figure out why you wouldn't want your seven-year-old son playing with this. Starting off with the holding slash firing mechanism, it's in a very almost camo green, it's like a very light camo. For those of you who build Gundam models, it's like a Zaku kind of green, the mass production types. Um, that's really nothing special to it. This can be switched to left or right, there is no differentiation between it, so because of that, you do, this piece is stationary. Now, unlike the triple launcher, there is a trigger in the back, which you use to fire the missile, and the hold parts are stationary, rather than the triple launcher, where you push them back to fire your 3B Dama. There's also, notably, if I can get a little pick real quick, there's little um, grooves on the top and bottom, and it's only facing this way. It is not anywhere else on the weapon, and that is purely to hold the RPG. Speaking of which, it's, well, unique. Um, essentially, this is a crash weapon you do not use in your average game of Crash Tower. Rather, you use this for the more advanced and competitive Crash Tower, where you have little barriers set up around the tower and the concept is when you shoot this it will knock over barriers and well now you can start shooting at your opponent's crash tower nothing much to really say about this it's heavy in the front and the stabilizers on the sides are spring loaded so as you can see nice solid piece and that's really it there's nothing special about it on to Evil Leviathan, though. Checking out Evil Leviathan's body, this is probably my favorite color scheme. This is a Rush-type beat -em on so as you can see, there are little rollers on there. But really, the star is the design. <clears throat> it's a very deep shade of blue, and the gold and white accents on the black armor really make it look... Nice. Um, it kind of reminds me of the Aqua Force or the Royal Paladin clans from Cardfight Vanguard. It's just clean. I really like it. Um, I wouldn't mind painting a Gundam like this, actually. On to the grip. Well, you can already see there are two holes in the grip. And that is because it is a recast of Iron Odin's grip. And Iron Odin has two little <clears throat> yellow bars on it. And as you can see, the bars go perfectly into the grip. Now, the bars are not included with this beat -em on And that is because, um, I guess this design, it's really nothing special. Uh, it just feels like any other Crash beat -em on grip. And that's really it. It can be held left-handed or right-handed, depending on your preference. And that is really it. It's just a grip. The barrel, however, is a tad bit unique. This is the tiniest barrel in the entire Crash beat -em on line, under two inches long. And, well, it speaks for itself. Um, I don't have anything to compare it to at the time, unfortunately. But, take my word for it, it's very tiny. Um, according to the wiki, this gives exactly one control and one power to the beat -em on but in all honesty, this is just a loose hanging barrel. This is made for rapid fire, and I cannot recommend this enough to buy this. It is a very good beat -em on and this is just a great plus for it. 
But the real star of the show is the 67 caliber stock server. And this is just awesome. So for those of you who saw my review of Reflect Wyvern, there is a little gray server on the back of the magazine, or the grip. That's essentially what this is, it's just flattened. So the Beatamon can hold two extra Bidama, bringing its count up to six. However, what makes this so special is the stock in the back of it. This is made to stabilize the Beatamon, because before the Synchro Weapon line came out, the Beatamon were extremely heavy in the trigger section, so to counter that, the Evil Leviathan had the stock grip, so when it's attached to the grip itself, the Beatamon is solid, there's no weight issues. Before we test this out, I just want to say I do not have any barriers from the Crash Beatamon line. Um, I am getting some with my Justice Ifrit unpurchased, but until then, I'm just using these little Hasbro bits I got in a trade. And here we are at the Crash Tower, so let's begin. 3, 2, 1, B Crash. And already popped two Bidama out of the way, and... And there you have it. Ultimately, I wouldn't recommend you buy Panzerfaust. This is more of a novelty item, and there's just not enough people out there who have Justice Ifrit with the barriers for the Crash Tower. This is mostly collection, or maybe if you just kind of want to play with your friends, I guess you could use this, but like, I don't think you should be wasting $15 on this. Evil Leviathan, though, I highly recommend this. This is by far one of my favorite three block system beat em on. Everything from the color scheme all the way down to the parts. The barrel is great for rush type combinations. In fact, I've been experimenting a lot with my mock Garuda. And let me tell you, this with the triple roller hold parts, awesome. It works very well, very clean, and love it. Getting onto that stock server, if you're in a control type combo and you don't want to pay for the tripod crash weapon, this is definitely a great purchase for you. It stabilizes the back of the Beatamon, it gives you two extra Bidama, which is a great thing. The more Bidama you have than your opponent, the better you are set. So, this is a must buy. And without further ado guys, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. This is Beatleblader95, logging off. One of these days, I'm gonna knock this mock over.